Hey guys, so welcome to Move Monday. Um, here with my friend Mo, who actually designed me this adorable t shirt. You can get them, I'll put the link in the YouTube below. Um, she even customized it for me with my Instagram name. Very, very kind of her. Thank you, Mo. So today we're going to go over uh, Armbar from Top of Mount. One of you requested it after we went over the Mount Escapes. Um, stuff um, like I showed you guys earlier uh, a couple weeks ago we did triangle mount and then I rolled for the Americana from the triangle on guard um, so I like to catch a lot of my subs in my transitions but I do know the traditional arm bar from top of mount um, and I do feel comfortable teaching it I've had it taught to me by several different black belts um, I've gotten different details from each one uh, this week I'm going to specifically go over the bicep slicer details because Professor Jeff was showing us that this week in class and so it's fresh on my mind and I feel like I remember the details well enough to explain. It. So, um, for your arm bar, we're going to start by climbing up from mount to S mount. So, I like to do it, someone showed me this once, like I used to do the can kind of can opener style where I would just grab the head and then just kind of try to slide my knees up. So that is one way that you can get up under their elbows, but I was recently taught, I can't remember who showed me this, but they scooped this arm here, like around the head, and then they used that to crawl the opposite leg up, and then this one comes up through the other one. So however you want to get there, we're going to get up under these elbows. There's a few other ways too, but those are just two ways. Um, and then we're gonna end up in our S mount. So I'm gonna pull this shoulder up and put my leg under her shoulder here, and this knee is going to go close to her ear on the other side. So it's called S mount because it kind of looks like an S with my legs. <laughs> so then um, I'm going to take this arm. I'm going to use my top, uh, the arm that is closest to her head, so top side arm, um, to hook her arm here. And then I'm going to spin and I'm going to step my foot over here. So when I sit here, I'm going to tighten my knees, keep my knees tight together, and I'm gonna scoop my heels on the mount, on the mat here. Um, so then if I want this bicep slicer, uh, if you wanna actually come over this way so that they can see the elbow, what I'm gonna do is I'm keeping this top side arm in, I'm grabbing my own bicep, I'm grabbing her wrist, and then I'm pulling this elbow up to the ceiling. And then as I start to lean back, do you feel it, Mom? Yeah. It's already, bicep, it's, it's a bicep slicer, so it's my bone is cutting into her bicep right here. So that's gonna make her either tap if she wasn't expecting it and it goes on really fast, or she's gonna let go and then I have my arm bar. So to finish my arm bar, um, when we were doing this in class, my partner, she was keeping the arm super tight to her and holding it here, and it was taking her a lot longer to finish it. Um, if you keep your knees tight and you don't wanna have to like completely lift your hips up like a bunch and squeeze like this to finish it, I like to keep the arm actually a little bit above, so I don't like to hold it tight here. Like once I'm here, I'm already in armbar position. And then I kind of have it at this angle right here, and I feel like that's a little easier to finish than if I'm trying to stay tight to it and keep pulling it back with me, and then, then I have to lift my hips, which I can still get it there. It just takes a little longer because I have to come all the way back here, and at that point she might roll up into me, she might do other stuff, and then I have to be able to lift my hips here. So. Um, those are my details with the armbar from Top of Mount. Let me know what you think, uh, especially about that bicep slicer. I'd actually, Dean Lister trained with um, me and my boyfriend Matt a couple last summer, and he showed us that same bicep slicer. 
So, and I think does it the same way. So I was excited when Professor just showed it because I've seen that before from someone super high level and um, it's a fun one to review because I can never remember which side arm I need to get the bicep slicer. So when we reviewed it, I feel like I've got the details a little better and I'm gonna start using it more. So yeah, see you guys next week.